Good morning. Happy Motivational Monday. Today, we're going to talk about determination and how determination will get you to your destination. So I'm going to be reading three scriptures to you today and take the time yourself to read for yourself and um, ask God to give you revelation on how you can integrate these scriptures in, into your life as you're on your journey towards towards success, towards what you're building, you know, whether it be your business or your ministry or, you know, a nonprofit, whatever it is that God has you doing in the marketplace, you know, meditate on it. Ask God for revelation. Ask God for guidance. Read for yourself. So the first scripture is Isaiah 50 and 7. It says, because the sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint and I know I will not be put to shame. A lot of times, y'all, we don't move forward in the things that God has given us to do as far as in the marketplace, you know, business wise, because we're afraid of failure. We're afraid of shame, you know, so we don't we don't always move on the path that God is leading us on. Fear, fear. Of, some of us even have a fear of success. You know, fear of failure is one thing, but some people are afraid of what success looks like and what all comes with success, the responsibility that success carries, the criticism that comes with success, losing people around you because you're successful. So fear of success is a real thing, just as fear of failure is a real thing. So the word tells us that we should set our face like flint. Flint is a hard material. It's, it, it's uh, you know, almost unbreakable. There's some, you, you're not movable. You're not movable. You're not shakable. You're not turning to the left or to the right. Nobody is going to talk you out of your destiny. You are determined to stay the course, to stay the path that you need to be on to reach your dreams, to see your visions come to fruition. So the second scripture is Proverbs 4 and 25. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. The worst thing we can do, y'all, is compete with other people and compare ourselves to other people. Nothing will slow you down from your race, your journey, quicker than trying to be like, imitate, you you know, trying to be something that you're not and then trying to compete with somebody that you don't even compare to. Be your own competition. Be a better you today than you were yesterday. Be you let compete against yourself. Let you be your only competition. There was a, a race um, years ago. I think it was between Michael Phelps and somebody else. You, well, you know, he didn't did a lot of races. But the man was ahead, y'all. And he turned to look aside to see what Phelps was doing. And that little bit of a, a second of him looking, trying to see what his com competition was doing, caused him to fall behind. If he would have just stayed focused on his race and stayed focused on his lane, he probably would have won. Well, he would have won from what the people were saying. But he was so concerned about what the man next to him was doing. You touched the podium first and you worry about everything else later. So the third scripture is lay aside every weight. And the sin that so easily besets you and run with endurance the race that is set before you. That goes back. I think I got a little bit of a head, you know, ahead of myself because that goes back to running your own race. 
What God gave you to do is for you to do. What God gave Rebecca to do is for Rebecca to do. Rebecca can't do what you do and you can't do what Rebecca do. We all have been gifted and talented in different ways to do certain things. I know a lot of people that are in the medical field. That is not my thing. That is not me. That's not something that I can do. And I understand that. So it would be foolish of me because they are doing that. And they're successful. God have, has blessed them tremendously for me to all of a sudden, oh, I'm, I'm going to go do that. When I know that I hate blood, number one, I hate you. It's, it's just not for me. And that's okay. Some things are not for you. Don't try to force yourself to fit into something that's not for you. Find what it is you're supposed to do and then do it. When you find your passion, you have found your purpose, right? So we got to don't compete, don't compare, you know, know your strengths and your weaknesses. Ask God for revelation. Ask God to guide you on this journey. Stay determined. Stay determined, y'all. Determination will get you to your destination. I'm going to share y'all because I, you know, I love uplifting people and I, I, I love being positive. And a lot of times people can misconstrue and think that you think you're perfect or that you don't have issues and things like that, which I don't care what you think, but I'm going to just share some, you know, just a, a battle that I went through you know, over the weekend, that's how you can tell when you're close to your destiny. And we are not to be ignorant of the enemy's devices, right? So I, you know, like I said, I've been just praying and being before the Lord. And I got some things happening this week, you know, just giving God praise in advance for it. So when I tell you the attack was strong over me this weekend, Nothing but the blood of Jesus, nothing but prayer, nothing but the word of God and the Holy Spirit keeping me and covering me and guiding me and protecting me. Because when I tell you the enemy tried to get me to turn around, tried to get me to doubt. And that's what the enemy will do. Either he'll do it through thoughts or he'll send people to question you. Like with Jesus, if thou be the son of God. When Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit landed on him like a dove. And the heavens opened and the voice of the Lord says, this is my son and whom I am well pleased. So Jesus knew he, who he was. And then you go on a few verses down and the first thing that the enemy comes to attack is his identity. If you don't know who you are, baby, it's a lot of people around that will tell you who you're not. If you don't know what you can do through God, I can do all things through, through Christ who strengthens me. There are plenty of people around who are more than willing and able to tell you what you can't do. So know your identity in Christ. Be resolute, be absolute, be secure, be, be determined in knowing if God said it, I can do it. I'm going to achieve what I've been put on this earth to achieve for God. Pardon me, y'all. But just stay resolute, stay determined. It, it, people will question why you're doing what you're doing. Who told you to do what you're doing? Who qualified you? God. God qualifies those whom he calls. So y'all be blessed. Remember determination, y'all. Determination is the key. Remember these three scriptures. Meditate on them. You know, 
um, Isaiah 50 and 7, Proverbs 4 and 25, Hebrews 12 and 1. Be determined. Don't give up. The attacks of the enemy will come. The closer you get to where you're going, the greater the attacks of the enemy will be. Because he's going to try to turn you around, get you to give up, believe that you're not worthy, that you're unable, that you're, you know, you're not competent, that you, you know, you lack, whatever, whatever you lack, God can give it to you. The word says that if any man lack wisdom, let him come to God who gives to all men liberally. If you don't know how to do something, pray to God. And then do what he tell you to do. There are tons of resources out today that'll show you how to do what it is that you think you can't do. I applied for a trademark, y'all. And when I tell you, I did not know what I was doing. Followed the Holy Spirit's God the whole step of the way. God gave me so much grace. The attorney from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office called me and he said, did you do this yourself or did, you know, or, or did an attorney help you? I said, I did it myself. So he, you know, asked me some questions on a couple of little things that I, it wasn't anything huge. But just the grace that God gave me, my trademark was approved. Right? I didn't know what I was doing, but I prayed every step of the way. God give me wisdom. You said if I lack wisdom to come to you. So I'm coming, Father. Endow me. Endow me with wisdom. Guide me on how to do this thing. And that's why I am now with, with doing what I'm doing. God give me wisdom. Guide me. I don't know everything. I know I'm subject to make mistakes. I'm subject to, to go left when you say go right. Because I'm human. So guide me, Lord. Help me to obey you. Help me to stay the course. Help me not to give up. Help me not to give in. So, y'all, we just don't give up. Don't give up no matter how it feels, no matter how it looks. No matter, and then this is another thing, you know, that we get so caught up in, y'all. We try to find people to go with us. We want people to walk with us. You not gonna find them. I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you the truth, even though it hurts, because I've been there and done that. Your your supporters are not who you think they are. Your supporters are gonna be people you don't even know. A lot of times we look into our circle. Your circle ain't going to always be the ones that support you. Because a lot of people have the mentality that you, they don't want you to go no further than where they are. So you walk alone until God sends some people to walk with you. And he will. He will. Don't give up. You know, you're going to have some days of discouragement because I did. But don't give up in your discouragement. Stay determined. Even when you get discouraged, stay determined. Set your face like flint. Determined to do what it is that you are doing, what you're building, what you've been called to do. And God will not let you be put to shame because he is with you. He is for you. He is on your side. He is on my side. So stay encouraged, y'all. Stay encouraged. When I tell you I had a battle this weekend, I'm telling you before this month is over, I probably end up weighing 12 pounds. Not from stress or anything, but just being before the Lord and pushing my plate away. You know, just being before him, denying the flesh. So God bless you, y'all. Remember, determination will get you to your destination. It's not going to be like this the whole way. It's going to be like this. <laughs> you know, valleys, peaks. That's You know, that's what success is, y'all. It's not a straight shot. 
like, you know, we want it, we want it to be, but it's not. Stay determined. The God that's with you on the in the um on the mountaintop will be the God that'll be with you in your valley moments. That's the same God. And remember, as you're going through, you're coming out. God bless you. I pray prosperity over you. I pray that God blesses everything you put your hands to succeed, to succeed and prosper as he prepares the way for you. Don't give up. Don't give in. You will win, baby. Stay determined. Stay determined. Y'all, look. Now, I'm one of them people that believe in, like, high-low shopping. Now, I got this dress, y'all, from Target um, last year. It was originally, like, maybe $24, but I got it on sale for $15 or something like that. Then I threw on my little Gucci belt, and I'm aware my Stuart Weissman, um, what do you call these? Little ankle booties. And that's it. But I love a good deal, y'all. Um, yeah, I love a good deal. Ain't nothing like, I ain't got to spend no whole bunch of money on clothes. No, ma'am. You can look nice and, and, and budget wear. I actually bought a dress from a thrift store. Well, when was it? A couple of weeks ago, y'all. $9. And it's a nice dress. I done washed it. It held up and everything. So I can't wait to wear that too. I, just something thrown in there, y'all. You don't have to spend a million bucks to look like a million bucks is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, you you need your coins to be in your business, okay? <laughs> you need your coins because it takes money to make money. We, you know, those of us who have had business, businesses before and are building businesses now, we know it takes money to make money. So don't spend all your, your stuff trying to look good. You know, it's, it's ways to, to, to shop and still look professional, still look pre presentable without busting your, your account, you know, without busting the bank. Anyway, God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day.